Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or a bucket plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every Friday. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment it below. I'll capture it, give you a shout out. Like to this week is brought to you by Mr. Redstone One, and this is the Clear Lag plugin. So this plugin has been around for quite a while and it's actually it's fantastic what it does is, is it helps reduce lag by clearing um, loaded chunks that don't need to be loaded uh, reducing entities putting caps on TNT stuff on um, egg spawning stuff so if you have a server and you're trying to get kind of a budget or you're just um, you're just you got a lot of lag on it put this one in place it'll help you track down the lag even it has quite a few tools in it to track down the lag as well as repeating commands as and like uh some commands that you can set to automatically run when it drops below a certain level it's fantastic so we're going to go over the commands first and then we're going to hit the config configuration there's no real permissions for this plugin but it's pretty fantastic before we get into it i want to talk about some basic uh lag tracking down commands so this, if you're using essentials, you can do a few of them. You do slash TPS. What this is going to do is going to show you the ticks per second for the last minute, five minutes, 15 minutes. Now, this is my dev server, so it's a little bit lower because it's just running on my computer while I'm recording. But your ticks per second, what Minecraft does is it runs in 20 ticks per second cycles. So if that below, drops below 20, you're your users will start experiencing lag. Now, they actually won't notice it until low 19s. That's when they'll start getting some block lag, and then in the 18s, they might get some phantom blocks and stuff like that. And now you can see the clear lag is actually firing off automatically. It's going to clear some entities on the ground, which if you want to see the list of entities and mob types that this plugin works off of, I'll put those links in the jibbles below, and you can go to those um, so you know what to put in the configuration file towards the end. So the other command is a GC or garbage collection um, for essentials. And that's just going to tell you a whole bunch of information, current TPS, memory usage, um, chunks, entities, tiles, all that stuff loaded. Now we're only in one world. Nobody else is on the server. So nothing else is really loaded. Um, just with some of the memory commands I use. If you use um, multiverse, you can go to worlds that you don't use much go mvm set memory false and then that's gonna keep the spawn chunks not in memories like it looks like i could probably do that for this world and this world <clears throat> although i think i have on my regular server um don't do that on like a lobby world or a world that people teleport to a lot because it'll delay a lot of stuff so anyway let's get into the commands that's what you guys came here for so slash lag is going to load up all of the the commands that you can run so a couple things you can do you can do lag check that's going to show you how many entities are on the or items are on the ground how many mobs are alive players alive now that's across your whole server so keep in mind with that so then if you do lag clear that's going to clear all entities across all your worlds so you might want to be careful with running that one because like minecarts and boats are all considered entities. So if we go lag like, clear, that's going to remove those. Now you see that we added four entities on top of the 12. I don't know what the 12 are that are always there, but um, it, they keep getting removed and they're still there. So then what you can also do is if you don't want to clear it for across here, let's hide Big Red. Sorry, buddy. Let's We'll call you back towards the end. So... You can do lag area and then a radius. Now, radius is um, from you to the edge of the circle, if you haven't done math or geometry. Diameter is all the way across the circle, where radius is from you to the edge of the circle. So five, blo five blocks in every direction, it's going to run this command. So then you, know, you can see that we've only removed four entities with that command. So that's pretty cool. We Let's, uh, let's spawn some... Um, I can't see them. I believe I've blocked them in this world. So, so let's uh, let's do this. Now I don't want to kill. 
Now, what this is actually going to do is going to kill all those mobs, too, but... we I don't care. This is my backup. So, kill mobs. So, that has killed 60 mobs. As you can see, it's killed all my mobs in here as well, except my horse, which we'll get into that um, in the configuration file. But it's killed all my cows, all my, chick my uh, pigs, my uh, sheep, chickens, sheep. So, we want to be careful with that the kill mobs one we can actually set it to filter out some of them but that's not in this command so lag unload chunks so what this is going to do is actually it's going to unload chunks that are not in use um so if we do that gc command again we should see yeah those two are not loaded anymore that one's loaded again and the lobby chunks are not loaded now um, because we're in the sky world so if we go lobby And there we go. So now if we do GC, the lobby is loading the chunks right now. But um, the other thing that you can do is you can go leg chunk. This one's really handy. So you can do leg chunk. And what that's going to do is it's going to list um, chunks that are have a lot of entities in them. So this can be handy for, for tracking down leg, the source of leg, if you have a bunch of people on the server rather than just wandering around and going I don't know where it is and then once you got that you can do slash lag TP chunk and then let's see I think I know where this is gonna go actually lobby sky world um, in here so I'm not sure why it thinks this chunk I think this is the shop so i think that the reason this one's being fired up is actually because of let's just go down probably because of all of these um i think it's it's probably all of these actually so yeah that's pretty cool you also have with clear lag let's say you're not using essentials you can do lag tps all right so that go that's all we have to go over we actually don't have any sign configuration to go over so we're going to hop over into the config file to go over some of the things that you can customize further with this plugin. All right, so like any other server, you're gonna hop into your plugins folder and then you're gonna go into your clear leg folder that got created and you're gonna open up config. Now, you've probably seen this every week, but I highly recommend getting Notepad++ and opening these YML files in it because it will color code it make it a lot easier to see so you can see that he's also listed all the mob names that you can use which is very handy in the configuration file so in the settings you can have an auto update and naval signs now i haven't seen anything in the on the author's page about the signs i even tried to get it to work put the signs in but um it doesn't seem to respond so it's possible that the authors removed it at this time i'm not sure but um, I wasn't able to get those to work. So we can do keep spawn in inventory uh, or in memory. Keep spawn in memory. That's the kind of the multiverse settings that I was using. Um, so we probably want to keep that true and leave that true. Now here is your area filter. So which entity should not be removed while doing a leg area. So when you're doing the area radius command, these are all the um, mobs and entities that are not not going to be used, removed so obviously villagers probably big a horse swan wolf since those are kind of like player owned mobs so yeah um config update force update you can set that to true now here's your mob egg limiter now this is really cool for if you have a creative world this is going to limit how many eggs they can spawn now i found this very handy um i haven't actually used it but uh, i could see it very handy because i have a creative world and i actually just had to disable um animals and mobs in it just completely because people were spawning them all over the place just to be a pain in the butt so uh here's a chunk limiter now this uh this doesn't really disable new chunks but it will limit how quickly they're generated and how much they can be loaded at once um so that's like exploring area all that stuff so then uh we can also modify the mob range of how quickly they spawn and all that stuff um I like to keep that default, but you can certainly lower that stuff if you're dealing with some lag issues, so true, and then lower it, and then that will be a better 
um, entity that will better better your TPS. So this is how you can enable how long items and mobs should be left on the ground. Uh, by default, it's uh, five minutes, so you can lower that if you'd like. Um, to two minutes, it looks like is if you enable this, it's going to change the items alive to two minutes and then mobs to five minutes and then arrows to 15 seconds. Um, so you can modify all of that stuff. You can also modify how quickly a custom mob spawner, or you can, sorry, excuse me, you can modify the custom mob spawn rates in a world if you want to lower those to try to, to modify the, um, to increase your TPS. So you can also then disable how many TNT minecarts because those are can cause a lot of lag because you can stack them. Um, actually, I'm not sure if they fix that, but um, you can enable that by default. It's false. You can uh, reduce the dispenser rates. You this is the global rate. So if there's more dispensers, it'll slow them down to to this um, TNT reducer fire spread. Yeah, it's pretty well laid out in here. Chunk entity limiter, how many? So once one chunk gets above this, um, it would start clearing out entities. Spawn limiter as well. You can set that in there. Here's your, okay, now here's where we get into some fun stuff. So your TPS meter, um, you can set this down to, looks like it's set to 14. So if you enable this, once your TPS drops below 14, which is actually really low, like you'd be experiencing some serious lag at 14 TPS, it's going to run these two commands, which is kill all the mobs and clear. So once again, um, I guess the reason that this is so low is it would take a pretty drastic measure because this will kill all the mobs on the server. You know, all the players, chickens and cows and all that stuff, um, as well as clear their their entities. So if you want to do, if you want to remove some mobs from this leg command, like if you want to not remove people's cows or pigs, you would put them in this mob filter um, in here. So then this this section will handle mob spawning, uh, like mob spawners that will change their spawn rate. Um, so we can't get a ton of mobs spawned from them. Um, you got an item merger. Now, this is by default set to false. Um, you can set it for true, but if you're using spigot or craft bucket plus plus, both of those actually do this on um, as part of it. So if you're running a spigot, you might have seen this where you're mining and all of a sudden your, your items will stack in front of you on the ground. And that's what this is doing to reduce the amount of entities used. Now here's the auto remover. You can actually change the broadcast warning. You can change the if you don't want it actually enabled to be scheduled and then how often it's going to run and then the command or what it's going to show up with. So you can modify all of this. So this plus remove amount is the number of entities it, it, used, it removed and then this plus remaining is how many seconds until it runs again as you probably saw while we were running that and now i'm not really going to go all of this stuff but this is what you change uh for what to be removed during an auto removal so maybe you don't want it to run on a certain world you put that in there um if you don't want it to remove some of this other stuff like boats or paintings you put all that to false or items or, or fireballs i don't know uh, you can actually put item filters in here so 264 is diamonds i think and I think that's iron. So if you don't want it to remove those from the ground to give people a chance to get that stuff, you know, maybe they just mined it up and then it just was a bad time and your filter ran or your clear command la uh, ran, and that's what it would do. <clears throat> it would protect those items, actually. So probably want to modify that a little bit. So then if you do a slash leg clear, that's what's going to be... Um, so this is what's removed on the automatic one for this setup. And then this is what's going to be removed when you do slash lay clear. So once again, you can change the filters. You can do all that stuff. And then, of course, once you run all of this stuff or make changes to this, you need to do the slash lag space reload command. And then here's your lag check. And then you can remove stuff that it's going to check and your limit, um, all that stuff. This is where you can uh, set this to true. And then you can limit how many items will be 
spawned in that particular area. All right, so here we are back on my production server. So hopefully you guys found that video helpful and um, that answers all the questions you had about that, Mr. Redstone. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below and make a suggestion of any plugins you'd like me to do next. So this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Yeah. We're professional YouTubers. We're professional. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> 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 We've taken lots and lots of pictures. <laughs>